हेलो स्टूडेंट्स तो इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी स्टार्टेड विथ म्यूचुअल फंड्स एंड बॉन्ड वैल्यूएशन वी सॉ व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ म्यूचुअल फंड्स एंड इट्स डेफिनेशन गिवन बाय सेबी टू रिवाइज यू ऑल म्यूचुअल फंड्स इज नथिंग बट इट्स अ पूल एंड कलेक्टिव फंड्स एंड इन्वेस्टमेंट व्हिच इज मैनेज्ड बाय एसेट मैनेजमेंट कंपनीज देन वी सॉ हाउ म्यूचुअल फंड कंपनीज वर्क they pool uh, uh, investors money and put it into the market and uh, various investment platforms and the returns are given back to passed back to basic investors we also saw what are the characteristics of mutual fund uh, these are the reasons for which mutual funds are preferred always then we saw what is the history and origin of mutual fund in western countries we also saw what is the mutual fund scenario in india since its inception in last lecture last slide we covered ethics in mutual fund why mutual fund companies need to follow ethical practices uh, since it is a um, money management companies or fund management companies uh, it is a huge responsibility is on the shoulders of asset management companies and that is the reason they must be ethical in their practices now we will see what are the classification of mutual funds what are the different different classes of mutual funds and types of mutual fund this is one of the very important for ty bab student now mutual funds are categorized as per functional classification and as per operational classification first we will see functional classification and first amongst that is open ended fund as its name suggest open ended fund is nothing but it is a fund where in you can any time put money and any time withdraw your money that means there is uh, no as such restriction on putting the money and withdrawing the money it provides major liquidity and therefore it is called as open ended fund on the other hand closed ended funds these are those fund which has certain restrictions on putting the money and withdrawing the money that means wherein you lock your money for certain period of time then such fund can be called as closed ended fund as per operational classification there are various funds first is interval scheme interval scheme is nothing but it is a balance or mixture of both open ended and close ended fund that means you can keep certain money minimum as a lock in amount and the other or the upper money you can any time withdraw and any time put and such scheme is known as interval scheme second is balance fund any type of funds are categorized into equity and debt and when there is mixture of equity and debt such fund is known as balanced fund then tax saving fund the these are the funds who provides certain benefits from income tax angle view then it provides certain sort of uh, deductions in total income and therefore such uh, investment provides or uh, indirect saving in the total income of the assets and therefore those funds are known as tax saving funds then offshore funds offshore funds are those funds which are invested by nri investor non resident indian investors the funds invested by them is nothing but called as offshore funds then growth funds growth funds these are the funds which provide capital appreciation so for example if i have bought a mutual fund uh, say 10 units for 1000 rupees and after 5 years for the uh, frequent period i am getting interest or return on it and after 5 years the capital value basic value of that 1000 rupees has grown up to say 5000 then the 4000 is what capital appreciation that particular fund has got and growth fund therefore is called as capital appreciation fund then portfolio fund then what do we mean by portfolio portfolio is different classes of investment so portfolio fund these are pre determined mixture so proportionate allocation of your funds are already pre determined uh, in terms of securities and therefore such portfolio fund suppose if you invested 100% of your money then 80% is going to be in equity 20% is going to be in debt 
in equity what companies they they already have predetermined formula there and therefore they are known as portfolio fund then fixed term plan fixed term plan these are the uh, types of fund wherein your funds are being locked for certain number of years or uh, uh, through which you cannot withdraw it okay so therefore this type of funds lack equity and uh, therefore it is called as fixed term plan then sip we all know sip is systematic investment plan it is like a, a rd of a bank wherein you invest frequently okay either monthly or quarterly or six monthly certain fixed amount for longer period of time in mutual funds that is called as systematic investment plan and last is etf that is equity traded as fund it is managed by mutual fund companies but traded traded as stock now we will see what are the parties to mutual fund parties to mutual fund these are commonly used terms when we are dealing with mutual funds first is sponsor sponsor these uh, this is the person who is nothing but a promoter of the mutual fund companies the idea of collecting money has come up in this person's mind and therefore he is the sponsor and originator of mutual fund company then trustee trustee is the group of people who has been appointed by sponsor to take further uh, to take the company further then custodian and amc custodian is the person who carries or who is having the all the money of asset management companies and on time to time basis he uh, deploy that money to asset management companies then amc these are this is the asset management company who actually works on classes of investment the funds that has been collected uh, from custodian that has to be invested by experts in asset management company asset management company further has has distributor or agents bankers and registrar and transfer agent these three people reach to normal individual public and investor to have their investment in mutual fund companies now why mutual funds are accepted at so large because of its advantages first advantage it provides diversi diversified investment that means when you put all your egg in one basket it is much risky and therefore when you diversified your investment in different different classes of investment it will reduce the risk therefore diversification is provided in mutual fund professionally uh, mutual fund investments are professionally managed with highly skilled and professional investment planners and therefore there is less chance of loss then regulatory oversight as we see uh, mutual fund companies are being regulated by sebi and government of india regularly they have to keep the regulatory norms and they have to fulfill all the norms of regulations and laws therefore on that part also they are safe liquidity you can any time put your money and any time uh, withdraw your money depends on the class of investment and class of mutual funds you have invested into it is more convenient because you don't have to put so much of time and uh, even if you do not have knowledge about it if you lack skill about it you can put your money in investment market then low cost because it does not require such any uh, a professional uh, skills of from an investor's point of view it is a low cost investment and asset management companies time to time frequently uh, provide statements and reports therefore transparency is also maintained the last part of this chapter we will see bond valuation bond is nothing but it is a debt instrument which is issued for borrowing money from public now there are certain terminologies which are associated with debt instrument first is face value or par value face value or par value it is the value which is specified to repay after the maturity then coupon rate or interest rate interest rate we all know so the rate of interest is nothing but coupon rate maturity is the period of holding of that particular instrument then redemption value it is the value of the bond 
at the time of actual value of the bond at the time of maturity it can be redemption value either it can be par or it can be premium or at discount also and the last one is market value it is the value at which bond bought or sold in the market so let us revise what we have seen we saw mutual fund its meaning mutual fund is what it is nothing but a pool or collective funds then characteristics of mutual fund we saw advantages of mutual fund we also saw then we saw classification of mutual funds and parties to mutual fund and we ended our chapter with terminologies associated with bond valuation thank you so much